pathology which is stopping its shock. Today, at this moment, I am one of the members of Texas Medical Group. First, I welcome all and expect the corona free world now come to shock. Before we discuss about shock, we want to recapitulate. Suppose from the heart blood comes out, this oxygenated blood supplies from the heart. Lateral, the blood again comes to the right atrium, then the right ventricle, then it goes to the lungs, where it is purified, and it comes in the heart. This is the cardiovascular system, and this is the circulation of blood. There means, if Vessels. That is cardiovascular system. If the cardiovascular system is defective, if the cardiovascular system is defective, what will happen? There will be disturbances in the carrying of blood to the tissue prepared. Again, if the system is normally functioning, but blood volume First one, if cardiovascular system is defective, blood volume is normal. Or if the cardiovascular system is normal functioning, but blood volume is decreased, what will happen? There will be hyperperfusion of the tissue. There will be hyperperfusion of the tissue. Again, suppose this is the heart. It pumps, blood comes out. Again, after circulation throughout the body, blood goes to the heart, then to lung, and it comes to heart. And if there is in the cardiovascular system, but normal blood volume, normal blood volume, or if cardiac system is normally functioning, but blood will be decreased, then there will be hypoperfusion of the body. And if this hypoperfusion threats life, this is called shock. Now come to what is shock. Spread hypoperfusion of tissue due to disparity between cardiovascular system and the blood. That may Threatening life is called shock. There is systemic widespread hypoperfusion of tissue due to disparity between cardiovascular system and blood volume. That may threaten life is called shock. Any, if 
there is disparity between this cardiovascular system and the blood body. And this disparity may be due to defect in the cardiovascular system or due to decreased blood volume. And if this disparity threatens life, this is called shock. Again, systemic widespread hyperfusion of tissue due to disparity between cardiovascular system and blood volume that may threaten life is called shock. Now come to classification of shock. Now come to classification of shock. Hypovolemic shock. Hypovolemic shock means shock due to hypovolemia, shock due to decreased blood volume. What are the causes of hypovolemia? of hypovolemia, blood loss. That is acute blood loss, diarrhea, excessive vomiting, extensive burn, extensive trauma. These are the different causes of hypovolemia. That is, these are the causes of decreased blood volume. Cardiogenic shock. Shock due to disease of heart. Cardiogenic shock. What are the diseases of heart that we need to shock? The common disease is myocardial infarction. Endocarditis, ventricular arrhythmia. <coughs> so these are the different causes of shock. Neurogenic shock and the spinal cord injury, anesthetic accidents, anesthetic accidents. Anaphylactic shock. So these are the different types of shock, hypovolemic shock, cardiogenic shock, neurogenic shock, anaphylactic shock, septic shock. The other day is again, we want to recapitulate, shock is the systemic widespread hypoperfusion of tissue due to disparity between cardiovascular system and blood group that with total life is called shock. First comes the hypovolemic shock. There remains shock. The end result of shock is the hypotension. End result of shock is hypotension. In the middle of 
such of these high potential. And in short, there is decreased effective circulating blood volume. What happens in short? There is hypotension and there is decreased effective circulating blood volume. Decreased effective circulating blood volume. So, eight result of short is hypotension there is decreased effective circulating blood volume. What happens in hypovolemic shock? That is mechanism of hypovolemic shock. Hypovolumia that is decreased blood volume that is decreased blood volume if there is decreased blood volume what will happen there will be decreased target of hope decreased cardiac output if there is decreased cardiac output, what will happen? There will be decreased effective circulating blood volume. Decreased effective circulating blood volume. Yes, there is decreased effective circulating blood volume, there will be widespread systemic hypoperfusion widespread hypoperfusion and ultimately there is shock so this is the mechanism of hypoperfusion shock now come to Cardiogenic shock. Generally, as I told you, the common cause of cardiogenic shock is myocardial infarction. Myocardial infarction. Everybody to know localized area of ischemic necrosis either due to a sudden arterial occlusion or impaired venous return is called infarct and the phenomenon is called infarction. If ordinary artery blockage, there will be ischemic necrosis of the myocardium and this is called myocardial infarction. So if, suppose this is hard, and if there is myocardial infarction, what will happen? If there is myocardial infarction, the heart will become weak and heart cannot pump properly. And the heart cannot pump properly, there will be decreased cardiac output. Decreased cardiac output. As there is decreased cardiac output, there will be decreased effective circulating blood volume. Decreased effective circulating blood volume. As there is decreased circulating, effective circulating blood volume, there will be hypoperfusion of tissue widespread. widespread hypoperfusion and that will lead to shock. So this is the mechanism of cardiogenic shock. Now come to anaphylactic shock.
pills immunoglobulin e mediated hypersensitivity reaction it is ige mediated hypersensitivity reaction this here one is systemic vasodilatation another is increased vascular permeability third is in ige mediated hypersensitivity reaction there are called systemic vasodilatation and increased vascular permeability how this systemic vasodilatation and increased vascular permeability may lead to shock now come to that point systemic vasodilatation systemic vasodilatation what will happen there will be dilatation of the vessels so there will be pooling of blood as pooling of blood following vasodilatation there will be decreased cardiac output cardiac output increased as decreased cardiac output there will be decreased effective circulating blood volume There will be decreased circulating, effective circulating blood volume. Again, come to increased vascular permeability. Students, suppose this is the blood vessel. This is the epithelial lining. If increased vascular permeability, if increased vascular permeability, what will happen? Increased vascular permeability. There will be reduction of. blood volume as reduction of blood volume there will be decreased cardiac output as decreased cardiac output there will be decreased effective circulating blood volume Decreased effective circulating blood volume. Then again, you see it is IgE mediated hypersensitive reaction. There is systemic vascular addition that leads to decreased effective circulating blood volume. There is increased vascular permeability. That leads to ultimately decreased effective circulating blood volume. As there is decreased effective circulating blood volume, there will be widespread hypoperfusion. And there will be shock. So this is the mechanism of shock in anaphylactic shock. That is IgE mediated. Hypersensitivity reaction. Now come to neurogenic shock. Mechanism of neurogenic shock. It 
the audience, you know if this is the blood vessel and this is the lining in the thorium, this is the blood vessel one. In normal anatomical and physiological condition, there is vascular tone, partial state of contraction. That is, there is vascular tone. If there is neurogenic shock, what will happen? If neurogenic shock, vascular tone is decreased. As vascular tone is decreased in neurogenic shock, what will happen? There will be relaxation of blood vessels. Relaxation of blood vessels. As there is relaxation of blood vessels, there will be pulling of blood in the blood vessel. Pulling of blood. As pulling of blood, there will be decreased cardiac output. Decreased cardiac output, there will be decreased effective circulating blood volume. Decreased circulating. Decreased circulating. Decreased effective circulating blood volume. So, vascular tone is decreased, relaxation of blood vessel, pooling of blood, decreased cardiac output, and it will lead to decreased effective circulating blood volume. There will be hypoperfusion, hypoperfusion, and there will be shock. So, this is the mechanism of neurogenic shock. Yeah. Neurogenic shock. There is now come to stages of shock. Now come to stages of shock. There are three stages of shock. One is already compensatory step. Early compensatory step. One is early compensatory progressive. Compensated stress and third one is irreversible state of shock. So one is early compensated stress, progressive decompensated stress, and irreversible state of shock. Now come to first early compensated sneeze. Dear audience, suppose fifteen percent blood is lost. If fifteen percent blood is lost, there is definitely hypovolemia. There is reduction of blood volume. In this stress, what happens to compensate this loss of blood and from the shock? Early compensatory stress. What happens? The mechanism. There is vasoconstriction. 
as the constriction. Then, as there is reduction in blood volume due to 15 percent of blood loss, there will be decreased cardiac output. Decreased cardiac output. As there is decreased cardiac output, what will happen? There will be decreased renal blood flow. Following decreased cardiac output, there will be decreased renal blood flow. Air decreased renal blood flow from the juxtaglomerular complex, there will be release of renin. So, from kidney, there will be release of renin. And this secreted renin is associated with activation of renin angiotensin axis. This released running is associated with running endotensin, running endotensin axis. Again, this released activation of running endotensin axis. Activation of renin angiotensin axis, there will be release of aldosterone. Release of aldosterone. And this aldosterone acts upon the tubules. acts upon the renal tubules and absorption of absorption of sodium and water and as there is absorption of sodium and water from the tubules there will be correction of loss of blood volume. As there is correction of loss of blood volume, patient recovers from shock. Patient recovers. from shock without any supplementation from outside like infusion or transfusion. This is the early compensated stage of shock. The patient can compensate the shock and patient can recover from such type of shock, such stage of shock without any supplementation from outside like infusion or transfusion. Now come to progressive decompensated stage of shock. Progressive decompensated stage of shock. Mechanism Again, 
suppose there is 15 percent blood loss, there is hypovolemia. And following hypovolemia, first one is vasoconstriction. There will be due to decreased uh, blood volume, due to decreased blood volume, there will be decreased cardiac output. cardiac output, there will be decreased renal blood flow. Following decreased renal blood flow, again there is disease of renin from juxtaglobular complex. And this renin is associated with activation of renin angiotensin excess. As there is activation of renin angiotensin excess, there will be a release of aldosterone. This aldosterone acts upon the renal tubule Aldosterone acts upon the renal tubule and there is absorption of sodium and water, sodium and water absorption. Although there is absorption of sodium and water, patient cannot recover from this stage. Patient cannot recover. Patient cannot recover. stays if you give supplementation like infusion or transfusion then patient can recover from shock. Again, if you don't give any infusion or transfusion, all the mechanism is activated in the body but patient cannot recover. But if you give supplementation by transfusion or infusion, patient can recover. So, if you give supplementation like infusion or transfusion, then patient recovers. recovers from shock. Now what is the difference between early compensatory stage and progressive decompensatory stage? In both stages, body tries to compensate. In early compensatory stage, compensation is without any supplementation, but in the progressive decompensatory stage, if supplementation is given, then there is recovery from shock. This is the difference between early compensatory states and progressive decompensatory states. Now come to irreversible stage of shock. In irreversible stage of shock, there is vasoconstriction there is activation of renin endotexin axis activation 
of renin, angiotensin, axis, there is giving of supplementation, giving of supplementation either by transfusion or infusion, still then patient will not recover. Still then patient will not recover. from shock and this is known as irreversible stage of shock. You know I have told you what is the definition of shock? Systemic widespread hyperperfusion of tissue due to disparity between cardiovascular system and blood volume that the fertile life is called shock. I have told you the end stage of shock is hypotension and in shock there is decreased effective circulating blood volume. I have told you hypovolemic shock, cardiogenic shock, neurogenic shock, anaphylactic shock, septic shock. In hypovolemic shock, shock is due to hypovolume of blood. In cardiogenic shock, is due to disease of heart, anaphylactic shock, it is IgE mediated hypersensitivity reaction, neurogenic shock, there is decreased vascular tone that is associated with pooling of blood and also there is increased vascular permeability. I have told you the stages of shock early compensated stage of shock. At this stage, patient can recover by himself or herself without any supplementation. But the progressive decompensated stage of shock, patient can recover only when he or she is supplemented by infusion or transfusion. But the irreversible stage of shock, patient cannot recover, although patient is supplemented with Intuition of transmission. Good luck to this. Thanks all. Abu Bakr said a question can say why does shock cause leptic acidosis? Mechanism of septic shock approach of the why disseminated intervascular cognition in shock shika katun? Why anaphylactic shock is called IgE mediated shock hypersensitive lobby slump? First question from Avogopur Siddiq and the other of the Jay Shogo. It means you get to do so, why does shock cause electric acidosis? In my mind, it's electric acidosis, it's electric acidosis. So, we know that the shock is going to be hypoperfusion. Shock is going to be hypoperfusion. It's going to be hypoperfusion. Hypoperfusion means that the tissue and cellular level ब्लैक पॉम अ ब्लैक पॉम मने ये न्यूट्रिशन को ऑक्सीजन को तो ये टिश्यू प्लस सेल ये ना की पॉम ब्लैक पॉम ब्लैक पॉम मने कि ये कर डिक्रीज ऑक्सीजन एंड डिक्रीज न्यूट्रिएंट्स आमर फिर इलाम डिक्रीज ऑक्सीजन आ डिक्रीज अपने सेल के जितने डिक्रीज ऑक्सीजन होए जो ऑक्सीजन लेवल कोमेंट क एरोबिक ग्लाइकोलाइसिस डिमिनिश हो गए, एरोबिक ग्लाइकोलाइसिस एक्टिविश हो गए। जितने हाइपोक्सिया का उन्हें सेलुलर लेवल पे एन एरोबिक ग्लाइकोलाइसिस एक्टिविटेड हो गए, 
and due to an aerobic glycolysis activity will be then the production of lactic acid. Production of lactic acid. So there is lactic acid. I shall do Mr. Kalesh. Mechanism of septic shock after the parvil aki, I am sorry to say that the actor session of Bola Havi, that was Jitin Jigas Kuritso, and the bully septic shock at Piha. Like I will have endotoxic shock of Bolyamra, endotoxin LPS, lipopolysaccharide. The lipopolysaccharide LPS, endotoxin, in a kipari, the blood vessel of the castle. Blood vessel of the castle. At a blood vessel of the castle, at a castle of monocyte to put it, at a castle of platelet to put it, at a castle of chicago to put it, the complement system of it. Catholic of the castle. Shop below Kajan with a two to three sister. Do the genus sister, at what today, vasodilatation, at vasodilatation of the pulling of it. Articulate, infant vascular removal. And infant vascular removal, you have it, reduction of blood flow. About the lipopolysaccharide the toxin, the septic shock for it, a lipopolysaccharide toxin, the blood vessel of the cascade, monocytic of the cascade, electrical of the cascade, cascade, complement system of it. Shock is over the cascade to the bottom of it. Actors in vascular delegation, the after pulling of blood, and for a key infant vascular permanent. For a decreased blood flow. The pulling of blood and decreased blood volume, he got a hyperperfusion for it, the electrical bonus here, a young shock. Why disseminated intermuscular coagulation in shock? Shika Khatun. Bondabar, Shika Khatun, disseminated intermuscular coagulation, Bondabar, Kibuji, the blood vessel in wood, the organic flow, numerous number of solid flow. From vascular, it is the disseminated intravascular population. The blood vessel, the kind of source of from vascular, you will be that it only in plural, in numerous number of time of the key DIC. Who may take us to the source? Why disseminated intravascular population in shock? Shock is canon. It is the issue. And the shock on our machine. Shock molecule wide spread hypoperfusion. Jodi on a septic shock, right? Suppose there is septic shock. Now, one of those somebody suffering from enteric fever. Enteric fever, you can do patient shock. Is it the body? Enteric fever, you can do patient get DIC. Suppose septic shock. Septic shock at toxin. Toxin, you can say, blood vessel. Endothelial injury which toxic causes injury to the other. And if widespread endothelial injury throughout the body, you know one of the important factor of thrombosis is endothelial injury. You know it from heart strike. There is endothelial injury, alteration in blood flow, and alteration in coagulation factor. There is hypercoagulation in blood. As in septic shock, there is endothelial injury, so there is signs of. DIC. As you must have so, Rabi Islam Jigesh Kuri so, why anaphylactic shock is called IgE mediated hypersensitivity reaction. As a hypersensitivity reaction, why do type as a noun? Actor of Chiki, IgE mediated. IgE mediated. The IgE mediated maniki, the immunable within E. Monikono. This is a mast cell. This is a mast cell. Here is the one thing that the allergen has been to the IgE cell is binding. Once the allergen binds with the IgE on the surface of the mast cell, they are in release of anaphylactic toxin. Anaphylactic toxin. Due to anaphylactic toxin release of poly, there is Vasodilatation, there is increased vascular coronary, jar coronary, anaphylactic shock ke, IgE mediated hypersensitive reaction bomb hai. Asha ni kutta case. Sai ripple sake jigas kori chhe, pathogenesis of septic shock. Aami kumar koshud aage gole thale si, the septic shock ke, इन रूप से इन पीएस जिन्हें ग्रेड लेकर बिजनेस की कासे की मगर कास्ट करें। 
as we want to give nibbles. Why is the picture is called endotoxic shock? Side of the question is why is called endotoxic shock? Septic shock, Shadaranutu, that is a gram negative bacillus that I have. And gram negative bacillus, the toxin that I call it, LPS, lipopolysaccharide. This lipopolysaccharide is an exotoxin. It is an endotoxin. This endotoxin that I have to shock, that I have to shock, endotoxic shock. This is the first question. What type of shock is hypoglycemic shock? Very good. Hypoglycemia maniki, the patient here, black glucose level comes in. If the blood glucose level is low, what is it? If the glucose level is low, the cell is low. The cell is normal activity is hampered. If the cell is normal activity is hampered, a lot of substance will be released from the cell. If the cell is low, it will be released. So, if the hypoglycemic shock is low, it will be released from the cell. Thank you. 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 DIC, Disseminated Intravascular Coalition. एर माने आप में देर बोली थी देवी नो जाएगा है और वो नहीं तो छोटे छोटे थोंबस तेरे पे ब्लड से होते हैं। So it's called Disseminated Intravascular Coalition. तो धरो जो और वो नहीं तो थोंबस नहीं जो इन्यूमरस नंबर थोंबस throughout the body attack का थोंबस तो एक तरफ पिलती की लगी एक तरफ लगी कर पिलती लेट। आप की लगी Protein factor or coagulation factor? Coagulation factor. That is, at the thrombus, we need platelet and coagulation factor. But when we get an enormous number of thrombus, we need to get an enormous number of thrombus. We need to get an enormous number of thrombus. We need to get an enormous number of thrombus. We need to get an enormous number of thrombus. We need to get an enormous number of thrombus. We need to get an enormous number of thrombus. आ डीएसी जब इतने चूत प्लेट ले वो पार्टिशन तरह क्या करो खड़ो सह जाए तो शेही व्यक्ति शरीर की अब इतना कम प्लेट ले को में जाए तार में थ्रोमोसाइड भी नहीं आए तार शरीर की अब प्रोटीन फैक्टर को में जाए तार में तार शरीर के प्लेट ले को में क्या थ्रोमोसाइड भी नहीं आए तार शरीर प्रोटीन फैक्टर को में जाए the increased bleeding time is very high and the protein time is very high. So what is it? It is a hemorrhagic manifestation. What is a hemorrhagic manifestation? Due to conjunction of platelet and due to conjunction of protein factor. So what is the bleeding time and protein time? Due to conjunction of platelet, due to conjunction of protein factor by DIC. And due to conjunction of carne, पेशेंट का ब्लीडिंग ने मरे जाते हैं, तार कोआगुलेशन समस्या होती है, ब्लीडिंग में समस्या होती है, जाते हैं ताकि बनाते हैं कंजम्पशन कोआगुलेशन पेटी, माने कोआगुलेशन में समस्या पेटी में रहना होता है, कोआगुलेशन समस्या क्या नो? ड्यू टू कंजम्पशन ऑफ प्रोटीन फैक्टर्स, ड्यू टू कंजम्� very good. Shart of dash. Clinical consequence. Our question is PGD chai. Whenever somebody is suffering from early compensated states, patient can recover by himself or herself. No. If patient is in a state of progressive decompensated states, if you give supplement, patient can recover. 
But after supplementation, if the patient cannot recover, this is irreversible stage of shock. If there is irreversible stage of shock, there will be multi organ affection. Kidney will not get sufficient blood, so there will be acute tubular necrosis. Brain will not get sufficient blood, so there will be ischemic necrosis in the brain. There will be ischemic necrosis in the liver. There will be ischemic necrosis in the heart. Thank you very much for your question. Thank you very much for your question. Thank you very much for your question.